Hello everyone, Josh here from Community Chrysler in Martinsville, Indiana, and what we're going to do is we are going to demonstrate the Stow and Go CD uh, that's available in the Chrysler Town and Countries and the Dodge Grand Caravans. Uh, we are using a 2014 Chrysler Town and Country Touring L as our demonstration model. This uh, procedure works for the Town and Countries and the Caravans, all going all the way up to the 2016 model year. Uh, but with the new Pacifica coming out, that will be a different procedure because they've redesigned Stow and Go. That being said, we will do a video on those as soon as, as, soon as those vans start coming into the dealerships. However, we have not seen them yet. Um, but enough of that. We're going to get started on the actual Stow and Go procedure. The first thing that you want to do is that you want to make sure your seats are in the furthest up position. As you can see, I've already got the right side seat already in the floor to provide better visibility of this seat going on. Like I say, we're going to go ahead and move this driver's seat up as far as it can go, and then we'll get started. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move the driver's seat up as far as it can go. Okay, so the driver's seat is up as far as it can go. We do that because it allows more access for the stow and go uh, uh, lid to open up as far as it can go. So the first thing that you want to do, it's not required, but it makes it a lot easier to remove these carpets because if you don't, they don't fold as easy. And so it just makes it a little bit more cumbersome. But I'm not going to go ahead, I'm not going to remove the carpets uh, for simplicity's sake. Sometimes I just find it easier to do so. And so what you're going to do is uh, you're just going to lift up on the handle and go from there. And this will show you how to do it. So this lever at the base of the seat, just flip that up. Alright, and then basically... And it's as easy as that. All right, so we're not done actually. We still have a third row seat to fold. Um, it folds into the back floor where the um, hatch compartment is. It doesn't fold forward, uh, but we'll get started. The first thing we want to do though. All right, so as you can see, third row seat. Kind of an issue here that will get in the way is the uh, center seat belt and you can tell there is a dedicated spot in the headliner trim specifically for this unit and it's actually buckled with a small latch plate uh, anything will pretty much get that out of there i just tend to use the um another seat belt just press up on the red button inside it and as you can see it unlatches now we're going to go ahead and put that in its storage so we can get it out of the way. All right, now on the stow and go with the manual folding seats, which is what we're using, power folding seats are a different story. You have tethers marked one, two, and three. We'll be referring to the numbers on the tethers when we are demonstrating the stow and go. All vans, town and countries, or Grand Caravans have the same tethers and the same numbers in the same location, so it'll be easy to follow along. So we're gonna go ahead and start folding these seats and we'll also demonstrate tailgate seating. All right, so now we're gonna demonstrate how to fold the third row seats in the Chrysler Town and Country and the Dodge Grand Caravan. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we need to release the head restraints so the seats can fold. So we're going to release tether number one. It's on the top of the seat. And that basically just releases your head restraints. Now this van is not equipped with a power folding third row seat, but on some of the town and countries it is. You're still, you still need to manually fold your head restraints. 
So, that out of the way, we're going to move to tether number two. It's at the base of the seat. It unlocks, it unlocks the uh, seat back, allows it to fold forward. All right, so our seats are folded in place and ready to go. So we're going to pull strap number three to unlock the seat bottoms from the floor. While holding strap number three, we're going to pull number four. That's as simple as that. Same as on the other side. Strap number three, while holding it, pull strap number four. All right, so our seats are in their folded positions. And as you can see, you have a lot of cargo room in the uh, cabin, and you can actually use the, uh, the latches in the floor as tie-down straps as well. All right, now that we have our seats folded, what we're going to do is we're just going to lift up on the seats to bring them back, latch them into place. One thing you do not want to do is you do not want to pull up on these plastic pieces here. They do not support the weight of the seat. They're just trim panels for the latches behind it. But we're going to use these black tethers. And we're just going to pull the seat backs up. And as they move forward, they latch into the floor. Then you're going to pull strap number two. Unlocks, unlocks the seat back. And you're going to pull strap number four. Same as on the other side, two and four. And you've got your seat backs up. Now you have another mode called tailgate seating. Basically what that does is it folds the seats backwards. So if you're at a tailgate party or anything like that, it makes a more comfortable seat to sit on rather than the hard plastic trim pieces. So first thing you want to do is you want to fold your head restraints in. So pull in lever number one or tether number one. And then we're going to pull tether number three. That unlocks the seat bottoms, allows you to tilt the seat back forward. And you've got your tailgate seats. Now keep in mind, the hatch will not close with these in place. The sensors will back it up because it blocks the hatch cup or hatch latch. So. And you can't have people sitting in this while the vehicle's moving. Alright, and so to move these back, since they're not actually latched into place anyway, basically you can just flip the seat forward in its full folded area, and that locks into place. Then you put your seat back or head restraints back in position. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to pull the second row seat back up. And to do that, we're just going to unlock the floor compartment and we're just going to lift up completely and on the seats that's inside the stone go compartment there's actually a black pull strap and you just pull on that Very convenient, this is a one-handed operation considering these seat assemblies are very heavy, but they're assisted by gas struts and springs, so little to no effort is required. Make sure the seat back is locked and the seat bottom is locked. Lock your head restraint in position. Then we're just going to close the floor. Make sure it locks. All right, and the next thing you want to do, seat belt. Not up in the trim panel as we discussed earlier. We're just going to pull that and you have your miniature latch plate and then you have your main latch. The miniature latch plate plugs into this little buckle here and that sets your center seat belt back in its original position. Alright, while we have it, we're just going to throw this seat up too. And that just 
pretty much the stow and go system on the Chrysler Town & Country and the Dodge Grand Caravan. We hope this video was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.